We welcome you back to TexasSports.com for our continued conversations here with members of the University of Texas Athletic Department and also with Longhorn Athletic Team members. We always enjoy visiting with the student athletes. We're taking this opportunity to visit with Charlie Collier, who is going to be a rising junior. So, Charlie, I start with that, the fact that you got in the vast majority of your sophomore season, but then didn't get a chance to finish it. And there was the NCAA tournament that even the Big 12 tournament didn't get a chance to happen. How have you and your teammates been able to reconcile and get beyond that and think about what's to come for you? Yeah, it's definitely hard, especially the type of season that we had. We definitely had our ups and downs and mostly were high. So um, it kind of just is a bummer that we didn't get to finish the season how we wanted to. But I feel like overall we did learn a lot from each other and we did have an overall good season. And, then, you know, if the tournament could have, you know, continued, I feel like we could have done great things as well. So it's yeah, do you, everything's do you, for a reason. Do you feel like uh, the team was in a position the way the, that you finished the regular season there? You had the uh, the uh, the regular season finale win over Oklahoma State that you guys were well positioned to make a good run in the Big 12 tournament. We know you were already going to be in the NCAA tournament, but it would have given you some – positive forward momentum wherever you would have wound up playing in the NCAA field? Yeah, definitely that win gave us a lot of momentum. I feel like that game and going into the tournament, we felt really well. So, um, like I said, you know, if we could have kept pushing, we could have made it really far in the tournament, I believe. How would you describe how it's gone for you so far in your collegiate career? What, what, what are you pleased with about your game and your college experience and your college basketball experience? And by the same token, the things that you feel you can be better at or want to do better at and things of that nature. It, it, give us a little bit of an overview of if, if, if you're to take the uh, midway mark review of your collegiate experience so far. I feel like so far I still have a lot to work on. Um, my sophomore season was was good. Um, my freshman season wasn't so how I wanted it to end up, but I feel like I'm on the right track. I feel like my worth ethic is as good as ever, and I want to be in the gym, and I want to work out, and I want to continue to get better. Even during the quarantine, you know, I'm just always going, and, and I want to be the best, so I have to do whatever it takes. And so for, for my team as well, I have to be the best me that I can be for my team. So I'm just – I'm working, and I'm looking forward to getting back on the floor with my girls. I always hear about, uh, you know, players talking about the, the work thing was more than they expected or more than they knew or realized was going to be and that it was hard at first and then they were able to try to adjust from that. It, it was, was that also something that you had to push through in terms of a wall before you got into being very comfortable uh, as a college basketball player in your sophomore campaign? Definitely. Um, I feel like from freshman year to my sophomore year, I had to learn how to break that barrier of being, you know, uncomfortable. I had to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because that's how you move to the next level. And I feel like once players grasp that and know that you have to just buy into the process, then you can be really something serious. And I feel like um, it's just more about you and how you want to be because, you know, the coaches can only push you so far. It's what you do on your own time that can really make you a great player. As we pointed out, many things have happened over the past three months. Um, how, first of all, let's let's take how you've been able to get through uh, the the quarantine with everything going on with the with the COVID nineteen coronavirus, finishing the academic semester, all of that. Let's start with that first and the challenges you had going through that. Definitely, I would guess I was, it was April, right? So we're already in June. That's crazy. Um, I guess just getting back, being home, getting used to being home. Um, I feel like that's a good takeaway from it. I'm home with my family, so that's a good thing about it. But, you know, it's hard being, you know, taken away that fast from your team because, you know, like I said, we were just getting comfortable. We were just getting, you know, our feet where we were ready. So that definitely was a sad point for me. You know, I want to continue to play. But at the same time, um, I guess this is a good time for all of us to just um, – I guess, grow ourselves. I guess that we can actually reflect on ourselves and build on our own and what we need to do for the next season. Um, not only that, I feel like as we're sitting home, we have a lot to learn and we can learn from what's going on in the news right now, you know, about COVID-19, how it's actually bringing people together. So it's a lot of good in all this bad situation. I know it seems really bad, but I feel like if you find the good in everything, then it'll be all right. But definitely this quarantine has definitely taught me a lot about myself. I've heard student athletes say maybe the thing they miss the most is their teammates 
uh, and, and I know you miss your – what do you miss most about being around your teammates? I just like how, how goofy we are. You know, we're a funny team. I just like to laugh. I like hearing everybody's stories. I just like being around my teammates. But, uh, you know, we'll be back soon. So I'm really looking forward to that. You uh, – I, I saw some interview comments from you and also what you had put on Twitter as well with regard to uh, – your time with Coach Aston and with her moving on now and, and now with Coach Schaefer. Uh, I wanted to give you a chance to talk about that. First of all, your, your, your recollections of, of playing with Coach for Coach Aston and then getting ready for uh, this new frontier, the new challenges that, that uh, Coach Schaefer and his staff bring to Austin. Yeah, um, definitely my time with Karen Aston has been great. You know, I don't regret anything with my coach. I still consider her my coach. Um, I definitely grew with her. I had a good relationship with her and the coaching staff as well. And they grew me into the player that I am right now, especially that summer going to my sophomore season was very, very important for me and that I work on myself and all of my skills and all that that summer. So she definitely helped me with that. And um, looking forward to what's next, uh, Coach Schaefer and his staff. I'm actually really excited. Um, I did my research. I know about them and we talk often um, and I'm just really excited to just, you know, see the different coaching that he has to offer. And, you know, um, it's going to be fun, and uh, I'm really excited. I, I, you've never shied away from hard work, and that's the one thing we've heard Coach Schaefer and his staff, uh, Coach Harris and uh, Coach Jackson Durrett and also uh, Coach Lovato also talking about hard work. It's hard. It's hard. Once you buy into the system and what we're doing, uh, it becomes an awful lot of fun. You've never shied away from hard work, so I get, I get the, the feeling you're, you're kind of anxious to see what this is all about when they get to town. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to see. I'm, I'm anxious to see what they have to bring, and I know whatever it is um, has to be working. I mean, if you look at their background and what they've done, and obviously what they've done has been successful, so they're, they're going to bring that here, and that's going to make it even better. Has it been strange the, the the fact when you think about your from your time as a high school athlete and uh, playing other uh, leagues that you played in and then getting to Texas there was always contact with coaches and prospective coaches down the line and you were they had a chance to you had a chance to meet and interact with them everything I know has been uh, in terms of what we're doing right now has been zooms and text and phone calls <laughs> how much of an adjustment has that taken to get used to that with this new coaching staff uh, it's super different. Um, you know, just seeing uh, someone from a screen is so different from seeing them in person and you just get that vibe, you know, in person. But we FaceTime often, me and the coaching staff, and I talk to them often and we check up on each other. So it's not too much of a difference. It's just I just can't see them in person, you know, but we will soon. But um, talking to them, I feel really comfortable. And um, so it's going to be good. You know, uh, it's also been well documented that, that Coach Schaefer and in specific Coach Harris have done so much good work with post players and, and see what they did with Tierra McCowan and several of the, the other players that they've had uh, at Mississippi State there. Uh, I know you, like you said, you did your homework. You saw uh, what they did. You had a chance to go up against them. But what, what, what are the things that, that strike you about their post work, what, what their post players have done in their two uh, runs to the national championship game and, and what those, those teams and those post players, their presence, what that's been all about. Yeah, I look at their post players and I see that they're really, you know, focused on defense. And that's really good. That's something that our team needs, blocking shots, blocking, blocking even more shots, contesting shots and being more mobile on um, defense. And I feel like I need that personally. You know, my offense can always continue to get better, but my defense is definitely needs to get better so bringing that here is definitely going to help me and my team get to the next level uh you, you obviously were very close with the teammates you had in the season just completed you're going to have some new teammates obviously incoming freshmen and transfers and things like that have have you had much opportunity to visit with your new teammates who will be coming in even though you haven't had a chance to be on the floor working with them um yeah definitely we have um weekly facetime calls with all of the team so we definitely just check in and see what everybody's doing, seeing if they're safe and everything. But I'm excited to get to know them and um, actually see them and work with them. It'll just be like how I was freshman year, you know, kind of shy coming in, not knowing what to expect. So I kind of know how they're feeling right now. They're anxious as well. So I'm just looking forward to, you know, helping them and guiding them because it's going to be tough. But um, we're going to make it work. It's going to be fun. 
do you see yourself in a little bit more of a leadership role now? How are you going to be an upperclassman, that, that sort of thing? And, and uh, that, how is that role? Is it comfortable for you being in that type of position? Definitely. It's actually crazy that you say that because I'm actually I'm a junior now and time is flying. I just was a freshman. So I'm definitely taking on that leadership role and can't wait to take the post players, especially under my wing and just show them, you know, the ropes and how it goes. Uh, definitely going to have to be more vocal this year and definitely step up tremendously and uh, just guide my team to that next step. Charlie, how has it gone for you in terms of being able to keep yourself in the type of shape you want to be in during uh, the, the pandemic and during the quarantine in terms of nutrition, workout, just being able to do the things you do. How has all of that gone? Yeah, that's actually gone really well for me. Um, I have access to a gym and a weight room, so I've been able to keep in shape that way and eating well. I've always been a healthy eater, so that's not too much of an issue, but just definitely I feel like especially during the quarantine, I focus a lot on that because I'm not at school and, you know, they can't watch what we eat all the time and they can't, you know, we don't have the regular workouts that we do. So I try to work out on my own and work with my trainer and just keep my skills up, you know. I've had a chance to meet your mom before. Is she a good cook? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom can cook. Yeah, sir. <laughs> right. um, the other thing that, that certainly has struck me about your time on campus, you have really uh delved into the whole media realm and and what that what that's all about is that something that really strikes your fancy i mean i think there's a lot of longhorn fans who probably see you as a potential college bat i mean a, a pro basketball player being in the WNBA beyond your collegiate days and maybe that is indeed your goal in the case but uh could you see yourself working in in this business and being you know, on the media side of things Definitely. I, I love the camera and I just like to talk in front of the camera in front of people. So I feel like that's definitely a profession of mine. I want to be a future ESPN analyst, a sport analyst. So um, after my pro career, I'll definitely, you know, take that into consideration and do that. Do what you're doing, too. So I like that. <laughs> All right. So so let, let, we'll, we'll role play for a minute here now. Are you uh, uh, could you see yourself as like a sports center anchor or an analyst uh, for uh, for basketball? telecast where you're at the game as the uh, analyst or were you even could you even be a play-by-play -play person I mean, or, or how do you see yourself in the in the world of of televised sports i to be honest i i want to do it all really i, I just love sports i want to do all sports soccer tennis you know it doesn't matter i just like to be around all types of sports and i just want to talk about them and mainly be on the analyst side of it though yeah yeah um do you ever find yourself when you're watching games kind of analyzing what's going on in your mind saying you know well she posted low she made a great drop step spun around that you know something like can you yeah. hear yourself <laughs> making those play. kind of comments yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely uh and and to work in this business obviously and you've seen it uh on espn uh and on the national news with everything that's going on right now and and uh and, and the, the social discussions and conversations and 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 even the protest all of the things like that as well um is it is that something also i mean you also strike me as the kind of person who could be a could be a network news reporter could be out uh, out in the field or a network news anchor as well could you see yourself out there and, and have you kind of envisioned what it would be like if you had to report on some of the things that we're seeing going on in our country right now definitely i feel like that's more i feel like that's definitely a hard job you have to go out in the action in the field and report on the news and i could i'll consider that too but that i feel like that's much a, a much harder job to do but congrats to them because it's not easy to do and they're also you know they're doing a good job of doing it and what's going on right now is definitely hard for everybody so um congrats on what they do with their job that's that's not yeah. easy and i would imagine you you, you also uh, have the, the heartfelt uh, thoughts for those who are out there doing that not and i'm not just talking about the media those who are out there uh peacefully protesting those who are out there being socially active and involved in this yes definitely peaceful protesting for what's right, you know, it's definitely, the world, the world is so evil right now. We need peaceful protesting, we need God, we need a whole lot of everything. Uh, we need a strong leader. So um, I feel like people are protesting for the right reasons and, and we're gonna make a change, you know, especially my generation, we, we're gonna have to be the ones to make the change, you know, for the future generations, especially um, right now, 
you know, we need each other. And I feel like everyone is coming together. This is bringing a lot of people together. This is what we need. Charlie, it's always great to visit with you. I look forward to seeing you on the floor, on the basketball floor as well. I know you're excited to get out there as well. We'll wish you continued health, and we'll look forward to that time here with uh, fall semester coming. Thanks for joining us. Yes, no problem. Thank you, guys. Hook them. All right, that is Charlie Collier, Longhorns Rising Junior Post for the Texas women's basketball team, joining us here on TexasSports.com.